India's technology and agriculture industries are both major areas of expertise for the country. Increasingly, the two sectors are coming together to help address the challenges of food security, which are being threatened by climate change. In the last of our three-part series on the impact of climate change in India, Rebecca Bundan travels to the rural district of Nashik in Maharashtra to explore the tech solutions being used by some farmers in India. Farmer Kieran Pingley, who grows tomatoes and grapes, often struggled to preserve his produce. He ended up throwing away huge amounts of crops that he hadn't managed to sell, which went bad. But this year he bought a solar-powered cold storage unit called Ecofrost, developed by an Indian company. He forked out about 8,500 US dollars for the product, but because it relies on renewable energy, he saves on power expenses. To control it, Mr. Pingley uses his smartphone. He enters the food items into an app, and it determines the optimum temperature and humidity for storage, enabling him to store crops for up to a month. Our wastage is almost zero. We had to take care of the food for 4-5 days. We had to take care of the food for 4-5 days. Wastage is a major problem in India that poses a challenge to ensuring India's food security. Studies peg typical farm losses of vegetables and grains at between 5 and 15 percent per harvest. Apart from tech solutions like this for storage, technology is also being used to boost production. As farmers in India face challenges including climate change, low yields and low profitability. There are apps which provide farmers with expert guidance and the latest weather forecasts, and sensor-based smart irrigation devices which can water fields more efficiently. While our population is balloon, ballooning and we have a lot of uh, uh, new businesses coming in and economy growing, uh, the basics of the country will always be a supply of food and water. And one of the ways that as a country we're looking at coping with this, whether we talk about government initiatives or private initiatives, is bringing in technology into agriculture, bringing in smart agriculture. Theta Analytics is working with its partners to bring drones to farmers in India. The company says that drones can be used to survey fields, study the health of crops and spray insecticides and pesticides much more efficiently and uniformly. Unless you eliminate the, the pest or disease from the entire field um, and if you miss a spot they'll just come back and that renders your entire effort a, a waste of time. This is a very major reason that we've not been getting the kind of yields that we want. Small farmers typically rely on manual spraying of crops which limits how much area they can cover effectively. Agricultural drones like this, which can make the process much more efficient, are being developed and manufactured in India. Flying an agricultural drone also involves becoming a licensed drone pilot and a certain level of understanding of technology. But the majority of farmers in India have small land holdings and would not be able to invest in technologies that cost thousands of dollars, even with the help of some government subsidies that are available. वो किसानों को इधर अपना खुद का मकान रहने को अच्छा नहीं रहता वो क्या टेक्नोलॉजी यूज़ करेगा वो तो पहले से ही आप बोलेंगे कि जाओ अभी जी देखो बड़ा टेक्नोलॉजी यूज़ करो जाओ कौन सा भी बड़ा टेक्नोलॉजी यूज़ करो अभी बड़ा टेक्नोलॉजी यूज़ करने को क्या चाहिए पैसा चाहिए एंड देर आर अदर हर्डल्स टू दूस ऑफ टेक बिकमिंग वाइड स्प्रेड इन द वेरी नियर फ्यूचर Internet connectivity is another challenge. There are many farmers who aren't online at all, and for those who do have smartphones, the network coverage is often patchy in rural areas. India has started rolling out 5G services, which would boost internet speeds and open up more possibilities to use tech in agriculture once it reaches rural areas. And the Indian government is working on what is known as its Digital Agriculture Mission, which includes plans to release funds to states for projects to expand the use of technology. Tech can play a role in boosting India's food production, but for now it still has further to go before it can take off in a big way. Rebecca Bandhan, CNA, Nasik in Maharashtra.